Hey, everybody. Um, sorry for wearing the same thing that I wore yesterday, but I have the flu. I was taking care of my fiancé all day on Christmas, and then the week after Christmas, my family got it, and everyone that I'm friends with on Facebook got it, and I'm like, ha I got my flu shot. Ah, I'm not going to get it. And I got it. Sweet. Anyway, so... Today I'm here to do my first book tag, and I'm trying to figure out who did this tag so that I can give them the proper credit, so let me look really quickly here, uh, let's go back, maybe it will be, oh please don't play. Uh, guess it was done by R.S. Book Channel. I, I got this from Chapter Stacks. So, if you are interested, I'm going to go ahead and tag you. I know it took me forever to figure out who actually did that, but... Whatever, ADD and Red Bull don't mix, especially not when it's 7.56 and I've been up since 4 because my dogs are assholes once again. Although they're pretty cute and pretty afraid of the storm that has just passed. It's like snowing and thunder and lightning at the same time, or at least it was. It's pretty weird. Um, so let's get started. Question number one is going to be audiobook or book in hand, and I'm going to have to go with uh, book in hand. I've never, well, I can't say never, I, I own one audiobook and it's Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And I don't even think I ever listened to it all the way through because the dude's voice got on my nerves and it just wasn't the same. Um, question two, soft cover or hardback? I'm going to have to go with soft cover. I have mostly soft covers. I like hardbacks because they look nicer, but soft covers are cheaper and I like the way they smell better than hardback if that makes any sense at all. Um, number three is fiction or non-fiction. It really depends on the type of non-fiction that I'm reading as far as answering this question, but I mostly read fiction. Um, if it is non-fiction, it's probably going to have to do with self-injury. Like, I really, I've suffered from SI for almost 10 years. I haven't done it in over a year, thank God, but in my opinion, once you choose it, then it's always an option, whether you act on it or not, because it's always there in the back of my head. I'm always having to tell myself, no, don't do that. So anyway, if you, um, if you do suffer from SI or know anyone who does, my two best non-fiction books are going to have to be um, Lady Injury by Melissa Seawater, who is I Drank the Seawater here on YouTube, and I'm going to tag her channel in the down bar. And then um, the best one, as far as memoirs go, is going to be Skin Game by Caroline Kettlewell. Um, but mostly I read fiction. Um... Number four is fantasy world or real life issues, and for this answer, I'm going to have to say a mixture of both, like the Charlie Davidson series, you know, she's a private investigator, she handles real life issues, like stalkers or abusive parents, husbands, I can't say parents, there hasn't even been a parent case in any of the books, um, but just, she handles real life issues as well as being their grim reaper, so that's why I say a mixture of both, it's kind of encompasses our world while tapping into fantasy. Um, number five, Harry Potter, Twilight. Why is this even a question? <laughs> Harry Potter. Um, I like Twilight, but it's just, you can't put them in the same category. You just can't because, I don't know. It seems like that series has just been kind of drug into the ground and I'm just over it. 
the the movie is ruined. It, it they really did. Come on. I may get shot for saying this, but Robert Pattinson is not Edward, and freaking Kristen Stewart sure as hell is not Bella. Sorry. Um. So Harry Potter for that one. Number six is Kindle iPad or other. Um, I'm gonna have to go with my Nook, Nook Color to be exact. Actually, I want the Nook Color HD, a uh, tablet that just came out. But since I only got my Nook Color about a year ago, I'm gonna have to wait a while on that one. Um, number seven is borrow or buy. I'm going to have to say buy because I don't like feeling self-conscious about the possibility of messing up someone else's books because I know how it feels when I get a book back that someone messed up and it pisses me off. Um, number eight is bookstore or online. I'm going to have to go with bookstore because I love walking into a Barnes & Noble or a Half Price Books or Hastings or Books a Million and just, you, gosh, just smells like books. I can't explain it. I love it. Um, number nine is Tell Me One Time or Total Trilogy. For the most part, I read Tell Me One Times with the exception of the Charlie Davidson series, Harry Potter, and Twilight. And The Lord of the Rings. Maybe that's not an entirely accurate answer. But I'm going to go with tell me one time anyway. <laughs> um, number 10, monster read or short and sweet? Um, I'm going to go with monster read because short and sweets to me usually leave a lot of wanting after you're done reading them. Um, number 11 is starry-eyed romance or full of action? Can I have both? I wonder if this is a side effect of ADD or if it's just that I can't make decisions. <laughs> um, number 12, curl up in your Snuggie or bathe in the sun. I'm going to go with give me my blanket, please. Um, especially since it's like 20 degrees. <sighs> number 13, hot chocolate or latte. Give me a cinnamon dolce latte from Starbucks any day over some hot chocolate. Matter of fact, I really wish I had one right now. Uh, number 14, read the review or decide for yourself. Uh, I do a little bit of both. What I usually do is I'll read the back of a book or the inside cover or the blurb, depending on what I'm reading it on. And then I'll try to flip to the middle. And then as I'm reading it, I'll get on YouTube or Goodreads and read other people's reviews just to see what they think of a book, whether I'm enjoying it or not. And that's the last question. If you want to do this tag, I tag you. Um, if you like my video, comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.